3 here on RT1, now Shortland Street. How many others have there been? Don't be stupid, Tony. Oh, no, no, because stupid would be going home with you right now. Stupid would be listening to a word you have to say when I know now that it's all crap. Yesterday, Chris, you couldn't even tell me that you loved your wife. And now you have an out. All you have to do is take it. And you and I can be together again. Keys. Right here. Ah. Ah, I'm driving. Well, don't be ridiculous. It's your day off. And it's your first day back. That's more important. I don't want you getting motorway stress. If I'm not capable of driving on the bloody motorway, I'm not capable of running ED. Now give me the keys. Couple of conditions. Take a mini break wherever possible. Yes, mother. Delegate wherever possible. Yes. Call in for backup. Alice. Whenever... I'm serious. You're recovering from a major illness. Yeah, which you keep telling me every 15 seconds. Now, give me the damn keys. Have a good day. You too. I don't know what to say. Maybe just give me a minute to think about it. Yesterday was amazing. It was amazing for me twice, actually. <laughs> It was heat of the moment stuff, just firing up the old zing we used to have. Still have. Okay. We're good together. But we have responsibilities to other people who are important to us. Do you know how dull that sounds? What you're saying, your fiancé is dull. My <laughs> Chris. Or my son. I'm hopping on a plane tomorrow back to Wellington. If you need clarification on any issue, you know where to find me. Chris, I don't know what your marriage is like. I don't know what Tony's like these days. But I do know that if you were happy, you wouldn't have ended up in my bed. Morning. How did we meet? What? I need you to tell me what happened back in Thailand. I think I've lost my memory. Switch in, please. You don't talk to me for three days. You can wait another three hours. Fifty thousand pounds. You remember things now? No. No, but I thought if you talked to me and told me everything you remember about me, about us, it might trigger a memory. It's not a pretty story. <sighs> Do you want to find this money or not? Okay. How we meet? He just started talking to me. And what, I asked you for dinner or a drink or something? <laughs> I ask you if you want to spend the night with me. And you say no. Why? Because you don't want to sleep with a prostitute. So one of us needs to be home to show how much pipe's leaking. Sorry, what? Plumber, sir, the one we've been talking about for the last five minutes. Oh, right, sorry. Something on your mind? Uh, no, I just need to have a quick chat with the team um, before... Before what? Craig's on his way. Before Craig gets back, could have just said it. Okay. Just do what you got to do. Hey, guys, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, what's up? Well, as uh, some of you already know, this is Craig's first day back at work. Now, it's going to be a big deal for him, and I don't want him to overdo it. But he will. Mm, but not if we take the load off before he even sees it, do I make myself clear? Ah, so I turn my back for a couple of weeks and what do I find? You lot standing around gossiping. Yeah, it's good to have you back, boss. Ditto. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? Are those of you have finished your little talk? Uh, yes, I've, I've finished. Mm. What was it about, anyway? Oh, you know, I'm just keeping them on their toes. So, this Mr. Colton, has he been assessed? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm just about to do it. I'll do it. Uh, no, it's no trouble. Yeah, I know, but I'll do it. Sure. Uh, and FYI, I've juggled the roster so that you're only doing day shifts and no on-call. Uh, juggle them back then. 
pray. Let's get this straight from the start, okay? I don't want any special treatment. Can you bring Mr. Colton, please? Darling, <clears throat> it's not here. What about Shrek? I want Nemo. I can't find it. Oh, just hurry up. Don't yell at me or you won't watch anything. What's he done? I can't find one of his DVDs. No, not Harry, Chris. Um, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want anything? Tony. Uh, we just had a fight, that's all. About? Oh, the usual. What usual? Uh, Harry's school and he left the toilet seat up. The junkie brothers out saying they're welcome. No. What, are you sure? Because if you guys are fighting about me, then I'm out of here. Guy, okay, it's not you. Well, then tell me what is going on, because you don't move out of the house for the night just because of a damn toilet seat. Doesn't anything go in this house? He slept with someone else. Right. I don't know what to do. Okay, Mr. Colton, we'll take you up for the next ray very soon. Right up. What's the story? Blackouts started two months ago, some as long as three minutes, one featuring a lovely case of incontinence. Yes. And your expert opinion? Well, that'll add to head movements, changes in posture. I'm thinking vertebrae basilar ischemia. Mm hmm. Something you would like to add? Well, he's a heavy smoker, so I'm thinking cerebral tumour caused by carcinoma of the bronchus. Well, yeah, possibly. Well, he's going up for a chest x-ray. Why not do a head CT at the same time? I don't want to waste radiology's time. Well, it's not for right. Sarah, it's an outside, outside chance. Craig! You're absolutely right. <laughs> I'm what? Don't just forget I said anything. You're tiptoeing around me. I don't like it. You've got an opinion. Oh, looks like it's a coffee break for you. Enjoy. Do you call in? I uh, no, just came to check my roster. How are you feeling? Your roster? Yeah. Which you could have checked via phone or email. The lines were down. Alice, you're checking up on me. So I'm checking up on you. Deal with it. Two and a half words. I'm fine. That's all I needed to know. There's Tassany and Benita. And they're prostitutes. They're working girls. Your girls. He took care of us, and that was a job. I was a pimp. Well, I came bodyguard. You take us to Japan on business trip. Japan, that's where big money is, and big trouble too, but not for you. Everyone's scared of you. Me? You know how to get your way. I hurt people. But you never hurt the girls. What about you? You wanted me to stop working. Big Boss said no, so we decided to run away. So I stole the money? We stole the money. One month's earnings. You know what bank I used? You only got me money is safe. Maybe you leave information in your phone. No. Or email to yourself. What email? Is there any brain left in there? No, not really. Where's the computer? Su Chin. Look, even if we find this money, I, I'm not going back. To Thailand? No kidding. They kill you. No, I mean back to that life. The way I was then, that's not me, not anymore. But I the same too. I don't want that life. We start a new life. Not together. As soon as I get you your money, I'm taking you to the airport. Get on a plane and never come back. You want to be good. You don't want to be good with me. Look, I don't know why I'm seeing us in Thailand. I only know how I feel now. I don't want to be with you. So you give me the money and I go. Well, I've got to find it first. Yes. Computer. We'll see you soon, Mr. Cobb. 
offer his chest x-ray, is he? Yes. Because mm, he doesn't need a CT, does he? No, he doesn't. Mm. Just checking. Now, do you want to take a break? No, I'm right. Well, everybody else has had morning tea, so you might as well. Sarah. OK, OK, but if it gets busy and you can't take one later, then you'll only have yourself to blame. OK, OK, I'm going. If only for some bloody peace and quiet. Mm, that's the spirit. Um, hi, it's Sarah here. Um, I've just sent a Mr Colton up for a chest x-ray. Yeah, uh, while you're there, can you do a head CT as well? Excellent. And uh, just send them straight to me in hard copy. Just keep them off the computer. Thank you. Password. Well, don't you know it? No. You never tell me. You must remember. Well, of course I don't. Well, look, calm down. We can probably figure it out. How? I don't know. Maybe it's something liked in Thailand, a place or a type of food or something. Hey. Hi. Oh, so Jim, if you ever need to use my laptop, you just go ahead. You don't need to ask me. She is so kind. Sorry, I, I said she could. She needed to eat Yeah, enough. whatever. Come on. How long is she going to be staying here for? She's starting to clear some things up for me. I don't want to scare her off just yet. Cleared what things? You don't want to know. Karen, how can you say that? Of course I want to know. We do this or not? Don't ask questions. It's none of your business. Making sure. Oh, what? What? That I hadn't carked it. <sighs> Hope you're not working too hard, mate. I have to look after your ticket. Is there something I can help you with, Steve? Ah, uh, for Dr. Potts. She must be in recess. I'll take them for you. Come, mate. Here she is. Those well, X-rays you ordered. Thank you, Steve. You are unbelievable. It's common sense, Craig. OK, let's see what common sense looks like, shall we? Like I thought, one clear head. Well, it could have gone either way, and I was right to order the views because now we know, don't we, instead of having to rely on guesswork. It wasn't your call to make. Yes, and you do this every single time I suggest something. I do what? The opposite. If you think I would ignore a patient's best interest to play power games with you... Look, I'm, Craig, I'm sorry. I, I was totally out of line. I should never have undermined you. You're doing it again. Craig, please calm down. I was in the wrong. It's, it's over. No, it's, it's not over until you start treating me like a normal person, not like some old man who can't hack the pace. OK, sure. I'm back, Sarah, OK? Which means I'm back in charge. Now, is that clear? Yes. Meet me for a drink later? I can't. Karen. I have plans. Here. You're there. It's not like it's a million pounds, is it? What? I mean, it's only 50,000. We don't give up. Now, type. Suchin, you have to let the money go. Get a job like the rest of us. What would I do for a job? I only know how to do one thing. No, I mean, look at me. I started over. You promised me. Su Chin. Said I never have to do that again. There are other jobs. He said it's because you love me. I know you don't love me anymore. Because you're different Karen now. But there are no other jobs back in Thailand. 
worked for girls like me. So don't send me back there without no money. Please. Okay, I'll keep trying. Thank you. Stay one over with? Yeah. So, how I... whatever you do, do not ask me how I am feeling. Same old Craig. Couldn't have it any other way. He's worn out. Oh. He reckons he's up to it. That's enough for me. Not for me. Oh, don't be such a nana. It's obvious the guy doesn't want to fuss. Let's just leave it at that, eh? Show it up. Hey. Hey. Hey, you nearly done. I thought maybe we could grab some Chinese. Oh, I'm sorry, Han. I can't go home just yet. Oh, I thought you were meant to finish ages ago. Yeah, dumb paperwork. Why are you so behind? Well, it was Craig's first day back and I was keeping an eye on... Look, honestly, TK, I really do wish I was coming home. No, no, you don't have to explain. I get it. You're going to be late because you're working. Because Craig got you behind. Perfectly understandable. Look, I'll try and be fast, OK? OK? Yeah, it's all our mother's fault. <laughs> I'm eight years old. Chris steals my transformer. You remember them? Robots in disguise. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> so, does Mummy Dearest make him give it back? Does she tell him off? No, she just goes out and buys me a new one. Problem solved. Want it now, have it now. Mm, so, you see, this isn't really about you, babe. <laughs> I'll be upstairs if you need me. Don't look at him like that. He hasn't done anything wrong. Ever since he's come into this house, everything has gone wrong. Oh, no, you don't. Me going clubbing with your brother does not equate to you jumping into bed with Rachel McKenna. If you wanted out of this marriage, you should have just said... I don't want out. Yes, you do. It's been coming for a long time. Keeping things from me, important things. Being busy at work, and now... It's all fixable. How can you fix trust? And even if we could, we'd only be staying together for Harry. Well, that's why I don't want out. I want to give him a home with both parents. You don't love each other? Nice. It's not how I see it. Okay, then. Look me in the eye and tell me that you're in love with me and you want to be with me for the rest of your life. It shouldn't take you that long, Chris. Hey, we're talking here. Just pack your bag. The day after my birthday. I was very dead, but you made me laugh. <laughs> Don't forget, you come from the land of smiles. You always used to say that to the tourists. Let's say what exactly? Welcome to Thailand, the land of smiles. email about bank. Uh, is this the bar where we worked? Yes. Always busy. Always many men. The bar are smiles. Except for me. Why did I have all these pictures of girls? You sent a client's dummy. You said I wasn't a pimp. Sometimes you do what the bosses tell you to. You can't say no. Mostly you look after girls. You keep her safe. <laughs> you're very good because you're very scary. You? Oh, yes! Oh, we're rich! Oh, I'm rich! Oh, yes, 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 yes! So, you talk to Tony? Did she throw things and swear to hell on back? Uh, it was a surprisingly calm conversation, actually. Lucky you. <laughs> so, is she ready to forgive and forget? Oh, a long way from it. I'm going to uh, give her some time, let her find her feet, and then we're going to give it another try. Great. So you can get back to playing mummies and daddies. Rachel. Because that's all it'll be, Chris, and don't deny it. I don't. Harry means more to me than anything. Including your happiness. So, um, 
Have you told Jeremy yet? Told him what? That the wedding's off? There's no need. Because it's still on, isn't it? Rachel, don't marry someone you're not in love with. Yeah, that's right. I know what I'm talking about. And I've already told you, I'm tired of being lonely. So anyway, what are you going to do about the job at Central? I haven't had a chance to think about it. Not properly. Well, you've got another week or so and then you need to make a decision. Okay. I'll let you know. I need to get to the airport. It's Rachel. This Jeremy character. I think you can do better. I thought I was going to for a minute there. Personal banking. There. Can we transfer straight to my account? Yeah, it looks like we can do whatever we want. Teach him what I said before about you and me. That there's no future for us. It still stands. I say I understand. But you send me away today? No. Here we go again. It must be the same password. We figure it out. Start with all this. We can't. We can't. We can't. The password fails three times, they deny access for 24 hours. So today we only have two more chances. Oh, did I miss dinner? It's ready. Go for it. Oh, have you eaten? Can't work out on a full stomach. Well, then I'll wait for you. Don't bother. I'll do my thing, you do yours. I'm starting to get the hang of it. No, I don't want you to get the hang of it. We're married now. We don't do our own thing anymore. Well, I'm pretty good at honeymooning on my own. TK, so. I'm trying to fix this here. <clears throat> I know what the problem is. It's Craig. You're right. I would never have cut my honeymoon short for anybody else, which, which tells me that my friendship with him is... Inappropriate. Yes. And every day that I work with him is going to drive you nuts. And you don't need that pressure, and neither do I, so I'm leaving Shortland Street. But you love your job. Not as much as I love you. So, first thing tomorrow, I'm, I'm handing in my notice. This evening, a couple painstakingly restore a protected Regency house to its former glory, whilst upgrading it to an energy-efficient 21st century home. About the house at 8.30 tonight here on RT1.